Hello, what is up YouTube? This is Paige and today I'm gonna bring you a brand new content on my channel. We are bringing uh, game analysis, uh, a game analysis type content and we are featuring two of the best players in the world here battling themselves in FT10 for the best Ar Argentinian player uh, nowadays. So let's try to explain a bit of a background about those two players. Uh, here we have the former Argentinian champion, which is Pandu as player one. Pandu has been kind of unbeaten since 2019. For a whole year, he has been claimed as top one and nobody uh, ever beaten him. And uh, he also participated to the World Tournament held in March in 2020 and uh, ended up in a fourth place beating almost every Peruvian player. So quite a big achievement for him, uh, making him one of the strongest players alive right now. And then uh, his opponent is Jose Coronel, known uh, as Jose. Uh, he's the current top two of Argentina, so another very strong player, which is which has been able to win quite a, uh, quite a lot of tournaments uh, there. And uh, today he's battling Pandu f for uh, stealing him the top one title. So without further ado, I would like to start the analysis, but let me say first thank you Vinilos Games for this incredible footage. Uh, for those you, for those who don't, for those who don't know, uh, you have to understand that for uh, South America it's very hard to get a high quality uh, gameplay since they don't have capture cards, they mostly uh, record with phones or uh, cameras and stuff uh, directly from the TV screens and then the quality often drops very low so Benito's Games today is bringing us a very nice quality content and uh, please guys, uh, let uh, show some support for this guy. I will leave the the link up here for his channel. Be sure to leave a like to his latest videos and maybe subscribe to him. Again, thank you, Vinilos Games. So we can start for uh, we can start the analysis right now. Here we have the game one of this entire set, which is a first to ten, where Pando is using Cell, Super Saiyan 2, Adult Gohan, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Jose, by the way, is using Cell, Kid Buu, and Android 17. No Broly team, which is very peculiar since, uh, in for those who don't know, in South America, Broly is a very common pick, uh, being him the best character in the game, arguably. So, uh, we, we are gonna see very interesting stuff here. Uh, so, let's begin. And, uh, okay, we begin. And yet, um, already, we have a very solid spacing game from both of the players. Uh, Jose is playing more of a poking uh, aggressive style, but look how both players keep the distance and then boom, they got in. Pando tries for a fancy setup after his charged blaster wave, but Jose was prepared, he didn't wake up, so they are ready. Look at the defense, they are just straight poking them with safe pokes, safe setups. They don't want to risk, they are studying each other, so very interesting strategy stuff here. Jose, with some very clean and fast movements, is trying to poke out Pandu, but both of the players, as you see, are still going for safe stuff, keeping the distance and so and whatever. So let's see, Pandu changes his character and brings in, uh, brings, uh, legend, uh, no, he brings Madan into the battleground. So let's see how this will go. Oh, very solid pokings, uh, Jose seems like he's not deflecting, oh, and Jose, manages to vanish the Madan with an after image and then a manual vanish, uh, punishing Pandu and forcing him to a double L1. So they both lost a single life bar. But as you can see, Jose right now has the priority, is very aggressive. Oh, nice dodge to the Madan and then the punish. Jose is in advantage right now. He got a life bar advantage. Pandu changes and brings the beast, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly into the battleground. Jose is forced to double L1, save the bar and change. Kid Buu is a very good matchup against Broly for those who, who, don't, who don't know about this. And here we can see some offensive teleport exchange. Double L1 delayed for a flanking setup. This is very nice. But here very solid, very solid, very, very, very solid defense from both offensive teleport exchanges. 
perfect recovery for the explosive wave and Jose uh, doesn't care about the lost life bar he he manages to get an, a life bar from Broly too Pandu is forced to, to change and let's see right now Jose is also changing and let's see how the game evolves oh Jose gets a nice maneuver on the back of Pandu he has less key so he's gonna win the Zikanter 1 exchange but he lost the life bar because Pandu was so ready with his after image for for the punish again you are you're watching a very solid distance poking you see they keep the distance they don't want to get useless risks and they are just studying each other this is just the first match so they are going to to throw their best weapons along the set and not yet ready okay so we have change for pandu which is solidly poking uh, jose with the key blast key blast seems like uh, are the weak point of jose but uh, he manages to double TP a very nice Madden on the ground and save the character, although he lost the life bar. Then he brings Kid Buu and it seems like the destruction has begun. Oh, Pandu lost another life bar, he's a red bar right now. Kid Buu is very aggressive here. Y you can clearly see Jose has no fear of Pandu. He's going straight in with this Kid Buu. For those who don't know, Jose is kind of considered the best Kid Buu alive right now because of his combo optimization, movement, and uh, matchup knowledge, I guess. And then he gets another life bar from Broly. As you can see, Broly suffers a lot this kind of matchup. Very interesting Z counter from Jose that recovers the explosive wave changes into a blast to punish. Very nice, and he gets another life bar. Now we are gonna see some spacing from C17 that allows Jose to steal another life bar from Pandus Broly. Pandus Broly is in trouble right now and he has to change. He's gonna bring Cell into the game. And let's see how it evolves. Very solid poking. But Pandu right now has to be very careful. He blocks the power balls. He doesn't go for the intrusion. And this is kind of an, an accuracy, as you can see. So uh Let's see how Pando is gonna deal with this. He's maybe already pressured since the first match, so he's kind of committing some uh, inaccuracies. Then we have Jose an accuracy, a double double L1 that brings Pando in a situation where he double TPs the power balls and gets a very solid advantage. Huh. So you he you can see from zero. Uh, sorry, you can see how Pandu got so far in advantage from having a full C17 as an opponent to a red bar C17 that's very nice he blocks the flying kicks but Pandu doesn't care keeps the pressure on and double L1 as you can see red bar against red bars so the first who gets the mistake is gonna die Pandu goes for the safer options and just take distance and change he, uh, with a full life cell against a red bar cell so this is this is <laughs> this is not gonna be easy for Jose that loses his first character. So Pandu gets a very solid advantage right now. So Kid Buu against Cell is a very peculiar matchup where I think Kid Buu is in a solid advantage. Uh, Kid Buu has a lot of interesting stuff against Pandu and especially against Jose. And here I'm gonna pause the video and go back a bit. Uh, we are gonna watch this incredible key blast ex exchange but moreover we are gonna see a very advanced maneuver from Pandu that activates his after image right after the double L1 and manages to punish with a dash cancel and combo really crazy crazy stuff one of the best sequences uh, in the entire FT and then he tries this again but he commits to a Z counter and here uh, the <laughs> the giant hammer was just granted and Jose could could no could no nothing else so Pandu gets again another solid advantage his advantage is three characters against one and he's gonna block the power balls Jose trying 
some last desperate things and then oh and then broly fails okay but still two characters with a full life cell against the red bar c17 so it's very hard to it's very hard for Jose to pull up some insane comeback although c17 is very well known for his comeback potential and then he gets the punish or oh, he fails for the android barrier punish maybe he was too early with his melee punches and watch how Jose is very fast to reposition himself for getting his power balls hitting his opponent so he's getting time and time but how much can he last Pandu successively lands his last hits and first game goes to Pandu a very very nice first game so this was the first game I tried co to commentate this real time and we are gonna focus on the on the focal points right now as we already said we had a very nice sequence where Pando was able to punish the, the emergency explosive wave with his after image and this is very peculiar uh, yet very very effective as you can as you can imagine so I guess it was on this point maybe okay maybe okay it was this sequence you see a lot of key blast exchanges look how Jose clearly repositions and then we have this you see the double L1 while being hit by the double L1 for those who don't know you just activate your after image to nullify this kind of pushback stun and Pando does this and then immediately dash towards your opponent to do this not happy Pando performs a perfect key flanking right on Ho right against Jose uh, Dragon Dash recovery and then watch this we have another double at one another after mage and Pandu commits for something really strange I would say which is this forward dragon dash I I don't agree with this because uh, uh, man you did the right punish right before literally 10 seconds before this so don't just commit to other things which are even useless but yeah uh, Jose has no key right here and this is the critical point of the game where Jose basically lost his game so yeah a very nice first game where Pando was able to dominate his opponent so very interesting stuff very very interesting stuff uh, yeah as already said this was the first game we are gonna cover the next games in the next videos so thank you for watching guys uh, be sure to leave a comment like and maybe subscribe to my channel for more content like this see ya